Hello YouTube, Crazy Robot Lady here, back again with another Tiger 2XL tape. Today's offering is, um, for the younger crowd, but it's part of the collection, so I figured I would still do it. Pardon all of the hissing in the speaker. The speaker is angry because it is Bluetoothing to something in this house. In addition to um, being hooked up to 2XL, and I don't know why, but it won't let go of whatever it is. Let me try to unpair it. Okay, I guess that did it. I don't know. Anyway, let's get going. Thank you. Yes, thank you for turning me on. I am your robot, 2XL. And this program is called Treasure Chest of Facts and Fun. There will be many interesting questions about many interesting topics. And I, uh, I have not decided yet exactly what the topics will be, but you'll find out as we go along. Please remember to only push my answer buttons after I say the word now. Follow all of my instructions very carefully. And if you ever need more time to think about an answer, or you just want to take a break, then push my stop button, think about your answer, push the answer button you choose, and then push play. Before we begin, I'd like to learn something about you. If you are a girl, press A. If you are a boy, press B. Press A or B now. I am a girl, last time I checked. <laughs> Thank you very much. I now know you are a girl, and it's very, 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 very nice to meet you, little girl. Let me now ask you this. Does your family have a pet? If you do have a pet, press 3. If you do not have a pet, press 4. Press 3 or 4 now. Yes, we have a pet. Thank you for your answer. By the way, what animal goes oom, um, oom? Um? That's easy. A cow walking backwards. <laughs> okay, let's get back to business here. My memory banks will try real hard to remember that you are a girl and your family has a pet. I now need a favor from you. I need you to remember a special code word for me. Remember the code word Catwoman. That's right, Catwoman is your code word. Later, I will ask you this word, and I want you to remember that it was Catwoman. Let's get started. Topic number one is about baby animals, and question number one is about the name of baby animals. And since you have a pet at home, this topic should be fun for you. For this first question, I will give you a choice, and this question will be very easy, I think. If you want this question to be about the name of a baby dog, press 1. A baby cat, press 2. A baby bear, press 3. Or a baby deer, press 4. Press one of my buttons now. 4. <laughs> Your wish is my command. You see, that's what robots do. You press buttons and I follow instructions. What is a baby deer called? Here are three choices for you. One, a doe. Two, a pup. Or three, a cub. Please press one, two, or three now. Neither of those. I guess it wants doe. You may want to use your brain as a flashlight because it is so bright. Good work. You chose a question, you picked an answer, and you got the answer correct. Your robot 2XL is happy for you. Question number two. This will be much harder than question number one. Of all the creatures on Earth, 
which one has babies that take the longest to grow up, get their own food, and learn to live on their own? Here are four choices. One, kangaroos. Two, turkeys. Three, humans. Four, elephants. Please tickle one of my answer buttons now. Three. Holy mackerel. Oh no, someone at my door. I'm busy, please go away. I guess they won't go away. Okay, who is it? Hi, I'm Leah and I'm six years old. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm five years old. Yes, girls, what do you want? Are you lost or something? We have a joke for you. Oh, good, a joke. Okay, girls, let's hear your joke. What, what happens, happens when, when you, you fall, fall in love, love with a garbage man? man? Hmm, what happens when you fall in love with a garbage man? Okay, girls, I give up. He dumps you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids, thanks a lot. Let's get back to business here. Remember the question I gave you before those kids rang my doorbell? Well, you answered you, man, and you are right. Good, good work. Let me explain. You see, of all the creatures on Earth, it takes human babies longer to learn to feed themselves, find food, and survive without their mother or father. Question number three in this topic of baby animals. Some baby animals are born and live in the ocean. Their parents teach them to swim, come to the surface to breathe, and find their own food. Which of these baby animals live in the ocean? One, a sea otter pup. Two, a dolphin calf. Three, a whale calf. Or four, a baby porpoise. Please press one of my cute oh, answer buttons them. now. Go with one. <laughs> you have pushed button one, sea otter pup. And you are right. Question number four. When hippopotamuses live in Africa, their babies are often very hot. How do hippopotamuses and their babies cool off? Here are three choices. A. Stay in the water and splash around all day. B. Stay under a tree. Or C. They live in caves. Please press A, B, or C now. A. Even though you are small, you have a very big brain. You are right. Good work. I am excited for you. A is the correct answer. Congratulations. Let's now change the topic to name this children's song. Listen carefully. Okay. I am going to try very hard not to listen to this music because it will get me a copyright claim. So I will talk until the music runs out. If you know the name of that children's song, here are three choices. A. Twinkle Twinkle. B. Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. Or C. Old Man River. Press A, B, or C. Now. Now, YouTube, Web Circle, Watch Live Now, Institute of Human Anatomy, Vessels and Lymphatics List Screen, Attachment. I told you to let go of my phone. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> you know the name of that children's song. Here are three choices. A. Twinkle Twinkle. B. Here we go round the mulberry bush. Or C. Old Man River. Press A, B, or C now. B. Uh-oh. A little power failure in my primary robot circuits. Hold on for a moment, I'll fix it. Do nothing, push no buttons. <laughs> Finally, I can tell you, you are right. Here we go round the mulberry bush was the name of that song. Good work. Now let me tell you what I'm going to do. If you get my next three questions in this category of naming children's songs correct, you will have four in a row correct. If that is the case, my memory banks will know it, and I will give you two extra funny jokes as a reward. Okay? You got the first one right, get three more in a row correct, and then you will earn those two 
extra funny jokes. What is the name of this song? All right, now I have to run my mouth again <sighs> until this is over because I do not want to get acclaim. Okay, I know the name of this song now. Here are four choices. One, pop goes the elephant. Two, pop goes the weasel. Three, here comes Johnny. Or four, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Please press one of my buttons now. Two. Holy mackerel, you are right. That was pop goes the weasel. So you know what that means? That means two more correct answers, and you earn those two extra funny jokes. Okay, here's the next question. What is the name of this song? All right, I know this song. Now, I have to listen to the first couple of bars of it. This one is very, very long. Ugh. Here are three choices. A, my girl Sam. B, row, row, row your boat. Or C, Humpty Dumpty. Please press A, B, or C now. C. <laughs> your brain a hug and a kiss if you can even your pointer finger deserves a congratulations because your brain and pointer finger have worked as a team to get this answer right humpty dumpty is the correct answer okay here's your last question now be careful because my memory banks are telling me if you get this last question right you'll get those two extra funny jokes good luck what is the name of this song? I'm sorry, I got stuck. Okay, here we go. This is for the two jokes. You're real close. What is the name of this song? Got it. sorry about having to not let you guys hear these songs, but I have to uh, be considerate of YouTube and all of its weirdness. What is the name of that song? Here are three choices. A. The Lollipop Song. B. Do Re Mi. Or C. London Bridge. Please press A, B, or C now. It's C. For a human being, you are pretty smart. London Bridge is the correct answer. Good, good work. I am impressed. Hold on for a moment while I check a memory bank. Do nothing. Wowee, my memory bank is informing me that you have done very well on these musical questions. Congratulations to you. You are very smart in music. Okay, here are the jokes I promised you and you have earned. Joke number one. What goes ho, 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 plop, ho, 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 plop. That's easy. Santa Claus laughing his head off. <laughs> that is such a disturbing Joke image. Two. This boy, Jimmy, came back from summer vacation. And the teacher said, where did you go? And Jimmy said, I went to the Grand Canyon. And the teacher said, tell the class how big the Grand Canyon is. And Jimmy told the class that when you go to sleep, you yell out, time to wake up. And then you go to sleep. And the next morning, the echo comes back and wakes you up. <laughs> Here is your next question. I have a slight technical problem here. Do nothing, I can fix it myself. I did it all 
all fixed. I am a fix-it robot. Oh, no. First I break, I fix myself, and now another interruption. <laughs> okay, who is it? Hi, my name's Heather, and I'm six years old. Hi, Heather. Uh, my guess is you have a joke, right, Heather? Okay, tell me your joke. If the teacher makes you stand outside, what are you? Hmm, if the teacher makes you stand outside, what are you? Uh, you're outside, uh, you're gone, uh, you're out of here, uh, you're not here anymore. Um, well, I guess I'll have to give up, Heather. Okay, what is the answer? An outstanding pupil. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Heather. And please close the door on your way out. I now have an important question for you. Remember at the beginning of this program, I uh -huh. asked you to remember a special code word. I want to know what that code word is. Here are four choices. Push one if your code word was corn. Press two if your code word was spinach. Press three if your code word was cat woman. Or press four if your code word was donkey. Please press one, two, three, or four now. Huh. Three. <laughs> Thank you. I now need another favor from you. I need you to push button one for me now. <laughs> Assuming you have a good memory and have followed my instructions carefully, my memory banks with your help are telling me that you are a little girl and you do have a pet. I would like to use this information for my next topic called fire safety. Here is your question. And by the way, there will be three questions in this topic. Question one. If you wake up in the middle of the night and discover your house is on fire, which of these three things should you do? A. Find your pet and carry it out of the house. B. Jump through a window. Or C. Yell real loud to wake up other people as you get out of the house. Please press A, B, or C now. C. Sadly. Answer C is correct. You should yell real loud as you get out of the house as quickly as you can. Unfortunately, there is no time to find and carry out the family pet. Once you are out of the house safely, then call the fire department or 911 and tell them exactly where the fire is. Do not yell. Do not scream. Tell them the address of your house clearly. Question two in this category. If there is smoke in the hall and you cannot safely get out the window, what should you do? Here are four choices. One, run right through the smoke. Two, crawl along the floor. Three, walk quickly. Or four, walk backwards. Press one of my buttons now. You are very smart. This is the right thing to do. You see, in a fire, the heat and smoke rise. So the floor is much cooler and there is less smoke. So if there is a lot of smoke, crawl along the floor as quickly as you can. Here is question three in this category of fire safety. If there is smoke in your house while you are sleeping, what will the smoke do? One, wake you up. Two, make you sneeze twice. Three, make you sleep deeper. Or four, wake up the neighbors. Please press an answer button now. Three. This is either a brilliant answer or a lucky guess. In either case, let me explain. You see, smoke will make you sleep deeper. That's why it is very, very important to have a smoke alarm in your house. Maybe even two, maybe even three. Because a smoke alarm will wake you up the moment there is any smoke. So if you have a smoke alarm, great. But be sure it works. It should be checked by an adult every month. And if you don't have a smoke alarm, please, please get one. This category is now over. I would now like you to help make up a story. This story is about a girl named Molly Mudpie. Molly Mudpie is an interesting girl, and she tries real hard to have a normal, regular day. But today, she's going to the beach, and you can help create a story. If you push A when Molly tells you to, something very magical will happen to Molly. If you push button B, something very bad will happen to Molly. 
and if you push button C, Molly will talk very, very silly. Okay, get it? A for something magical, B for bad, and C for silly talk. Okay, now listen to the story of Molly Mud Pie. Oh my, what a beautiful day it is. I'm so glad that I'm going to the beach. I'm going to ride my bicycle all the way to the beach. Let me snap on my helmet, and off I go. Here I am, riding along the road, headed for the beach. Oh no, there's a police car following me. He's telling me to pull over. Oh, child at home, press a button now. B. <laughs> Something bad. Okay, I better stop. Oh no! The policeman's brakes are not working! He's gonna crash right into me! Oh man! What a crash! Are you hurt, officer? No, are you? Nope, I'm okay. Well, I better run to the beach now. After all, that twisted hunk of steel doesn't look much like my bike anymore. Well, here I am at the beach. It looks like a nice day. Except for that one big black cloud in the sky. Well, it's pretty far away, and it seems to be moving away from me. The ocean has nice waves, the sand is warm under my feet, and the gulls are flying in the breeze. I have my sunscreen right here, and I'm going to have a nice day at the beach. Press a button now. Let's have something magical happen. Oh, look! It's Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street, right here on the beach. Boy, he's so big. He's walking right towards me. Oh, he's looking right at me. He's bending down to whisper something in my ear. Oh my, yes, yes, he wants me to be a star on Sesame Street. Oh, thank you, kid at home, for making something magical happen to me. I'll walk down to the ocean now to build a sand castle. This looks like a great place to build a sand castle. Oh boy, I have all my sand tools right here. I'm going to build the biggest and the best sandcastle of all the ones I've ever seen on the beach. Push a button now. I like the magical one for this, so I'll leave it on A. Wow, this sandcastle is coming out pretty good. Oh my, look, a tiny princess has come out of the tower door and is walking on the balcony. She is beautiful, and she looks real. Oh, look, and now the prince has come out also. Wow, people on the beach are beginning to notice them. Thanks, kid at home, for making my sandcastle magical, and the best one of them all. Interruption, please go away for my next. <laughs> okay, who is it? Hi, I'm David, and I'm eight years old. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm 11 years old. And we, we have, have a joke, joke for you. you. Hey, guys, I'm busy. I'm busy, busy, busy. This will be my last interruption, and we have little time, so it's up to you, child at home. If you want to hear David's joke, press one. If you want to hear Lisa's joke, press A, B, or C. I'll know what you want. Press any of my buttons now. Lisa's joke. <laughs> thank you, thank you for picking me. Lisa, let's hear your joke. Did you hear the story about the peacock? No, no, I don't think so. Did I hear the story about the peacock? Uh, sorry, Lisa, I did not hear that story. I did not. It was a beautiful tale. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Goodbye. Let's get back to business here. Do you think this story is true or false? A two-month-old baby was once fishing.
the baby caught a big tuna fish. The baby said, hey, tuna, I'm going to put you on some bread and make a tuna fish sandwich. The baby did that and ate the entire sandwich. Do you think that's true or false? Pick up your finger and press my true or false button now. You know what? This is so ridiculous, but I'm going to press true just to see what would happen. I'm feeling rebellious today. The next time you push a button on me, maybe you should use a different finger because this <laughs> finger is wrong. I am sorry to report. If you were to smell jelly, oh no, another interruption. I have to send them away. Who is it? It is I, Captain Bly, and I would like to ask the little matey at home a question. Ooh, Captain Bly is a real pirate. And boy, is it windy out there. Um, I'm sorry, Captain Bly. I've had too many interruptions. You cannot ask a question. No one says no to me. Ooh. What, what are you doing? What are you trying to tie me up for? Uh, take, take that away from I'll my house. Just I have to speak. I have my robot. Tie up and take over this program. I can't speak. <laughs> okay. 2XL is now tied up and gagged. Arr. Hello, little matey. Oh, I'm my. your new toy. Call me Pal Bly. Here is your question. In the story of Peter Pan, what was the name of the pirate? You know, the best looking guy in the story. Here are three choices. A. Captain Nemo. B. Captain Hook or C Captain Reindeer Press a button on your new toy now He's so mean we'll go with B Arr, I can see being a toy is going to be fun You are right Captain Hook was the good-looking pirate in the Peter Pan story. And you know what else? And I'm gonna be... He was very close to the mic. Which is really annoying. I hate it when people do that. I hate it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let, let me talk. <laughs> Quiet to excel, or I will make you walk the plane. No, 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 it's my toy. Okay, 2XL, you asked for it. No, no, no! Oh, let me proceed as your new toy forever. <laughs> Here is another question. What kind of flag usually flies above a pirate ship? Here are four choices. One, stars and stripes. Two, a picture of a big sword. Three, a rainbow flag. Or four, a skull and crossbones flag. Push a button, now. Four. Arr, I knew there was some pirate in you, matey. A skull and crossbones flag is the right answer. Good work, me matey. Good work. Help, help, I'm trying to swim. But water is not so good for a robot. Please, please, help, help. Quiet down there, 2XL. Arr, shiver me timbers. If this isn't the most fun this pirate has had since I found those gold doubloons in Pirate's Cove. Hey, perhaps you'd like to go with me to hunt for buried treasure. Arr, what a team we'd make. They'd call us the pirate and the kid. Or maybe even the kid and the pirate. We'd sail from port to port and follow our pirate maps in search of buried treasure. What do you think about that? If you'd like to travel with me, press yes. 
If you don't want to travel with me, press no. No. Press yes or no. Now. No, I don't want to travel with him. No. <laughs> How could you say no? I see I have a little lily-livered snake in front of me. You don't know what you'll be missing. I would have even let you sail the ship. Maybe I would have let you keep some of the buried treasure. Ah, but you'll never know. Captain Bly, I was able to untie myself and climb up the side of the ship. Now get off my program, and I'm not kidding. Never! I'm having too much fun with the matey at home. Well, I'll just have to throw you off my program with my super duper robot strength. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I give up. You are too strong for me to excel. You can have your blasted program back. <laughs> well, it was fun while it lasted. Goodbye, Captain Bly. Oh, please, please, Two XL. Could I just tell the matey at home one little joke? After the way you behaved, I really should not let you. But it's hard to turn down a good joke. So I hope it's good, or I'll make you walk the plank. Let's hear your joke, Captain Bly. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. What do you call a pirate who wears earplugs? Anything you want, he can't hear a blasted thing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny joke. Goodbye now, Captain Bly. Goodbye to XL, and goodbye matey at home. Ship ahoy! That goodbye. pirate was fun. We are now up to my last section called science. And I will give you four questions in this section. And as a special treat, if you get all four of the science questions correct, my memory bank will know it. And I will give you two extra funny jokes as a reward. And I'll let you give me a big hug. For this first science question, I will be nice enough to give you a choice. Just to show you the kind of robot I am. If you want this question to be about pizza, press one. Soup. Press 2. Teeth brushing. Press 3. Or milk. Press 4. Please tickle one of my answer buttons now. <laughs> do me a favor. Put your face right in front of my face. Go ahead, do it. Thanks. I just want to see what a person who picks a pizza question looks like up close. Here's the question. If you got a slice of pizza and it was very, very hot, which is the best way to cool it off? Here are four choices. One, put it next to ice. Two, cut it up with a plastic knife and then blow on the pieces. Three, eat it quickly. Or four, wait till it snows. Please press oh one, my. two, three, or four now. Two. Give your brain and pointer finger a round of applause. They are right. Good teamwork. Good, good answer. Button two was correct. Question number two. Now, good luck. You're on your way towards hearing those two funny jokes. Okay, here's your question. What three things do all plants need in order to... eBay. Now, refresh your ride with 15% off. Save on select parts and accessories. Ah! Attachment. Grow. I know this is a tough question, but you got the last one. Wait. Plants need in order to grow. I know this is a tough question. One more time. What three things do all plants need in order to grow? I know this is a tough question, but you got the last one right. I figured I'd make this one harder. Here are three choices. A. Water, sound, and light. B. Water, heat, and food. Or C. Light, food, and water. Oh, this is tough. Answer A, B, or C, now. Now, I understand 
light food and water, but if you were a kid and they heard the word food in reference to a plant, like, they would want to give it a piece of chocolate pie, so I don't know. I am very impressed. You have got on my first two science questions right. And that means if you get the next two right, you get those two funny jokes. In any case, you have answered light, food, and water. And this is the correct answer. Good work. Question number three. True or false? Almost always. People have two legs, animals have four legs, and insects have six legs. Answer true or false now. If it hadn't been for the almost, I would have had to disagree. True is right. You must be an expert on legs. Hold on for a moment while I check a memory bank. Do nothing. My memory bank is informing me. You got my first science question right, my second one right, and my third one right. Good work. Good luck on this question number four. If you get this question right, you'll get those two extra jokes. What do you call a person? who goes into space. Here are only two choices. One, an astronaut. Or two, a biologer. Please press one or two now. One. Astronaut is right. Hold on for a moment while I check a memory bank. Do nothing. Holy mackerel, my memory bank is informing me. You have got on all four of my science questions correct. You must be a real genius. Very, very, very good work. I am proud of you. You can give me the biggest hug in the world while I tell you these two <sighs> jokes that you have earned. Joke number one. When is a green book not a green book? That's it easy. Is when it is red. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know Joke that. Joke number two. How do ghosts go through locked doors with a skeleton key? <laughs> this program is now over, but I would like to ask you one last question. Do you remember your code word? Yes, you know, sir. the one I told you to remember at the beginning of this program. I certainly do. Badly. If your code word was corn, press one. Spinach, press two. Catwoman, press three. Or donkey, press four. Press one, two, three, or four now. Thank you for your answer. This program is now really over. I hope you enjoyed operating me as much as I enjoyed working with you. Well, little girl in front of me, I really have to go. Thanks very much for operating me. Please turn me off now. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, sorry for all the technical difficulties. I have got to make my old phone forget this speaker because, uh, uh I primarily use this speaker for 2XL now. <clears throat> he does have a speaker and it does work, but it's terrible. So, I prefer to use my Bluetooth speaker for this. Uh, all right. Well, it is church day, so I am going to have to hurry up and get ready. Anyways, I hope all of you enjoyed this video. As usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. God bless, and I will see you in the next video.